Hi, welcome back to my channel, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Thinking with Goldie. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to tell you about C V D visa. If you are working on a cruise ship or you want to work on a cruise ship, and your cruise ship is sailing in USA, you require a C V D visa. For that, you need to give interview for the C V D visa. So, in today's video, I'm going to tell you what all question they might ask you when you are going for a C V D visa with answers. Yes, guys, you heard me right. But that is my humble request. Please do not copy as I am saying it because you need to say it from your heart actually. So there is more chances you will get a C V D. You can only take my answer as a reference, but please do not copy. I am saying it again. So guys, I don't want to waste more time. I want to begin with this video. So what I say, let's start this video. It's awesome. one which ship you will be joining what will be your role what will be your salary and from where you will be joining the ship so guys when the interviewer will ask you this question it is a very basic question first of all and all the answers will be there with you on your loe which is letter of employment your company will give you so you don't have to worry before going for an interview just mug up this answer and tell this answer to that interviewer that's it finish now question number 5 the interviewer is asking you how did you got this job Sir, the work which I'm doing currently on land over here, the same work I'll be doing on board. I saw this vacancy online and I applied for it, and I was lucky enough to crack this interview. Question six: What are your current position? What is your job role? How long you are working in this company? So, guys, this is a very basic question. The interviewer is asking about your current position, your job role, and how long you are working in this company. All you need to say is that my current position is this, and my job role is so and so. I need to do this and that, and I am working from last two years, three years, whatever is your current position. So, this is a very basic answers you need to give. But remember, guys, always keep smile on your face when you are giving the answers. So question number seven is: Do you stay alone or with your family? So always say with my family because they want to know whether you have the ability to stay alone or with the family. So when you say family, so they know that okay, fine, this person is a very family-oriented person and he will not try to jump the ship. And please do not jump the ship. What qualifies you for this job and why you want to join cruise ship? So answer is very simple. The first question: What qualifies you for this job? You can talk about two things: your experience and your education. If you don't have education, not a problem. Talk about your experience. I would love to go like this, sir. I have two years of experience in the same field, and I'll be doing the same job on a cruise ship. When I saw this opportunity online, I applied for it, and I was really very lucky to got through it. And the second question was that: Why you want to work on a cruise ship, sir? It is my dream to work on a cruise ship because the work which I'm doing currently. Over here, the same work I'll be doing on board. But here I'm working nationally. But working on a cruise ship, I will take my experience to international level. It will really help me to grow in my life, both professionally and personally. Now the question number nine: What guarantee is that that you will return? So the interviewer is concerned that once you complete your contract, you might not return. So all you need to say is, sir, I have signed a bond with my company. Once I complete my contract, I need to return back. And you can also add this, sir. Also, I have my friends and family here. I really love them. So he might ask you a counter question: Why you want to leave your friends and family and go on a cruise ship? So you can say this. So working on a cruise ship, I'll be working for six to nine months. Once I complete my contract, I can always come back. So in this way, I'll be able to make balance in my professional as well as in my personal life. Now the question number ten: If you are offered job in USA, what will be your action? So guys, this is a trick question. Please do not get into it. Nobody is offering a job. If you say yes, I will take it. There will be straight away rejection. So please say it like this, sir. I already got a job on a cruise ship, and it was my dream to work on a cruise ship, and I'm happy with that because working on a cruise ship, I'll be able to travel and see so many places which is not possible on land. Top of that, I really love my family. Because working on a cruise ship, I'll be working for six to nine months and coming back and and spending time with my family, which is not possible working on a land. Now the question number eleven: Do you have CDC? 
do you have stcw if you have already completed show it to them if you don't have it just say it i have applied for it now the question number 12 do you have any relative in usa so the answer to this question is no we don't have any relatives guys please if you have a relative if you say yes you need to give all the details and everything you cannot say so i don't remember where they stay and all that so the best way is that say i don't have any relative in usa now the question number 13 what visa you have applied for the answer is very simple sir i have applied for c1d visa now question number 14 is why you want a c1d visa just say like this so the company which i got selected which will be sailing in usa and to work on a us water we required a c1d visa so my company asked me to apply for a c1d visa that's it do not have to add anything keep it short and professional question number 15 how long you will be staying in usa answer to this question is very simple 24 hours that's it you will be staying in usa only for 24 hours now he might come up with a counter question which is question number 16 how can you say 24 hours when your contract says 6 months so you need to answer like this absolutely you are right sir my contract is 6 months so once i land in usa i'll be boarding my ship within 24 hours once i'm on board my ship will go to different different country it won't only sail in usa So guys this was the question for C1D visas so I request you whenever you are going for an interview always be positive with lot of energy and always keep smile on your face while giving the answers I will keep making videos about cruise ship and cruise ship life I hope you like this video if you like please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel I will see you in my another video so till then bye from cruising with oldie